What does an HR intern do? In this lesson, we're going to dive into that and more. And hey there, my name is Josh. I'm the founder of HR University. And before we jump in, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and that way you don't miss any of our future lessons. Now let's go ahead and get started. So internships are a great way of learning about a profession and their most significant benefit is that they provide practical experience in your chosen field and allow you to test and apply what you learned during let's say high school, college, or maybe a certification course. Another benefit is that during an internship, you learn about how organizations work and this knowledge stays with you and helps you regardless of the industry you choose for your full-time job. And yes, a few internships provide monetary compensation. So that's also another benefit. And the HR intern is a junior position in the HR department. They perform various administrative tasks required for a good functioning of the HR department. And as the most junior position in HR, the intern does a lot of the grunt work. For example, getting coffee and maybe handling other menial tasks that senior colleagues ask you to do. Now, I'm sure that a lot of organizations aren't asking to get coffee anymore, but it will be more administrative work. And having said that, there is no substitute for practical experience, especially when it can become the springboard to your future success. And in the post-COVID scenario, many organizations provide the opportunity for remote internships as well. You can get all the benefits of an internship from the comfort of your home office. And a significant benefit of remote work is that you are not restricted to businesses near your location, and you can apply to organizations where you have dreamt of working there for maybe since you were in high school or since you really grasped that you want to work in HR when you're in college. And HR interns perform administrative tasks related to talent acquisition, employee documentation, recruitment, and compliance. They contribute new ideas and work proactively with colleagues. Now let's go ahead and take a look at each of these responsibilities in a bit more detail here. So HR departments handle documents related to employees such as employee contracts, medical records, performance appraisals, and things like resumes and cover letters. These documents are either paper-based or ideally electronic. And making sure that these documents are accurate and up-to-date is essential for HR operations and regulatory compliance. And interns are often focused on updating employee data using the Human Resource Information System, or HRIS. And they maintain the confidentiality of the sensitive documents and data. Moreover, the HR interns prepare reports. So for example, tenants reports that help monitor employee compliance with, let's say, timing policies. And they also assist senior colleagues with HR records management. And the success of an organization depends on the quality of its HR capital. And HR departments follow a detailed recruitment process to make sure that they hire the right talent to better their human capital. And this process starts with job postings and ends with a job offer. And senior HR and company personnel make crucial decisions related to hiring and conducting interviews. And junior HR personnel, such as the HR interns, take care of the administrative and clerical tasks, such as job postings, maybe resume screening, interview scheduling, preparing letters, and handling relevant documents here. And involvement in recruitment activities allows HR interns to support the HR team in tracking the cost effectiveness of talent acquisition by analyzing data, evaluating job posting performance, reporting findings, and suggesting improvements. And participation in recruitment helps interns learn about this essential HR function. And this knowledge and experience helps interns during every stage of their careers, even if they switch to a different career path later on. And organizations must comply with applicable labor laws at the local, state, and federal levels. And companies that operate globally must comply with relevant regulations for the territories in which they operate. And compliance requires an organization-wide effort, in which HR plays a vital role. Issues related to compliance can arise during any phase of the employee life cycle. For example, discriminatory job listings, inappropriate interview questions, inaccurate payroll and tax payments, unfair pay practices, and unsecured documents can all lead to compliance issues. And performing necessary administrative tasks to manage compliance activities is one of the HR intern's most important job responsibilities. And a few of the tasks that HR interns perform to improve compliance include documentation of company policies, keeping up to date with regulations, and communicating with employees to ensure everyone is on the same page. And personnel in junior HR roles, such as HR interns and HR assistants, act as an, let's say, an interface between company employees and HR management, or another word might be a liaison here. And they communicate and interact with employees regularly. This interaction gives them a unique opportunity to learn about the problems faced by employees on a day-to-day -day basis. And HR interns also get employee feedback about improving processes and procedures. And they share this feedback with their experienced colleagues and the resulting discussions often lead to an improvement 
and HR processes and procedures. In addition to the responsibilities that we've discussed, HR interns take care of several other administrative or HR related tasks that an HR manager or a senior colleague assigns them, such as providing administrative support to HR executives and colleagues, preparing reports relating to personnel, coordinating new hire orientation and onboarding, arranging meetings and taking minutes, coordinating corporate events such as career days, conferences and seminars, and responding to employee questions related to policies, payroll, benefits, and other HR related matters. And you can take more than one path to the HR intern role. As most internships don't require previous experience, you can actually go for an internship often during high school even. And a high school internship improves your chances of getting into a good college and and internships are also an excellent way of learning about a profession. And with practical experience as well, you can then make the right decision about your degree or career. And most undergraduate degree programs require students to complete an internship after their junior year. Universities and colleges have active industry links and help place students into organizations. If you are pursuing a degree in HR, then we recommend you go for an internship to meet your degree requirements. And some internships are only open to professionals with a bachelor's degree. And you can apply for these internships after completing your degree in HR or a related discipline. And you can also apply for the HR intern position after completing a credible HR certification like the ones on HR University. And unlike degrees that cover a breadth of topics, certifications provide focused knowledge in a specific HR domain, such as organizational development, diversity and inclusion, human resource management, and even people analytics. And with the right and relevant certification in hand, well, you can stand out from the competition. And remember, an internship can become the stepping stone to a permanent job. And if you perform well during the internship, well, then there's a chance that an HR manager looking to fill a vacant or an upcoming position will consider you for the position. And there you have it. We just went over the key responsibilities of HR interns and the paths you can take to the role. Whichever path you decide to take to the HR intern role, it's best to look at the internship as part of a bigger picture and not just the internship in isolation. The right mindset here will help you start your career on the right foot and propel you to success to get the ultimate HR position that you want. And there we have it. Thank you for watching the lesson and make sure to leave your thoughts, questions, and any feedback you have in the comment section below. And if you found this lesson helpful, of course, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel and that way you don't miss any of our future lessons. And I'll go ahead and see you on some of our other lessons and we'll rock and roll. Cheers.